so I took my mother to see Deep Throat. And... <laughs> So if you'll all recall, John Hickenlooper is the 2020 presidential candidate who thoroughly embarrassed himself at a scene in town hall when he admitted that he watched porn with his mom. For three minutes, he explained how he took his mother to see Deep Throat. So at that point, I think pretty much his campaign was over. You're done. You're a weirdo. Like... How do you not dodge that question? How do you not swap that away and say, look, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the real issues. But he answered it. He took the bait and he went on to explain in great detail at great length how this happened. So the dude is an imbecile <laughs> and a weirdo. I mean, if, you, if you're watching porn with your mom, I'm sorry, but you're weird. But now he's back in the news and to nobody's surprise, he is embarrassing himself again. Why? Because he's comparing Bernie Sanders' policies to Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Not kidding. So as Travis Moran of New Hampshire Union Leader reports, while former Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper speaks often about his disdain for negative attacks on his opponents, the Rocky Mountain governor turned Democratic presidential candidate laid out an economic platform on Friday that seemed to take direct aim at fellow 2020 contender Senator Bernie Sanders for his Democratic Socialist agenda. While Sanders was not name-checked in the prepared remarks Hickenlooper delivered while announcing a six-point economic development plan at St. Anselm College, the two-term governor launched multiple attacks on socialism, branding the idea, quote, no better today than it was 100 years ago, and invoking the dictatorship of the Soviet Union. You have to hand it to the GOP for achieving the near impossible, said Hickenlooper. Just years after the collapse of the Soviet Union, their greedy mismanagement has revived the lure of socialism for a whole generation of Americans. Who would have imagined the Koch brothers and Donald Trump could help resuscitate the discredited ideas of Karl Marx and Joseph Stalin. The apparent references to Sanders didn't stop there, with Hickenlooper going on to criticize elected officials in Washington who would demonize the private sector to score political points and branding universal health care and guaranteed jobs to policies supported by Sanders as hazardous to the American people. These are certainly big ideas. They are also not good ideas, said Hickenlooper. They would bloat the federal government, they would massively raise taxes, they would depress economic growth, and let me assure you, in the end, they would hurt working people. So if I'm understanding him correctly, the idea here is that Republicans are so repugnant that, you know, people are now opting for Marxism and Stalinism. They've been so turned off by conservatism and Deep throat. capitalism that they're going to the opposite end of the spectrum. That's essentially what I think he's trying to communicate here. But if you think that Bernie Sanders is a Marxist or a Stalinist, you're just stupid. Like, I don't want to be condescending to John Hickenlooper here, but this is a really stupid thing to say. Bernie Sanders isn't even a democratic socialist, and I really wish that he wouldn't call himself that. He's more of a social democrat. So what he's advocating for is to replicate some of the policies and the good ideas that we see in Scandinavia. Take what other countries do right, like Australia or Canada when it comes to healthcare, and emulate their success here. That's all he's advocating for. But you're saying that what Bernie wants is on par to what we saw with the Soviet Union? What an idiotic thing to say. This guy is a former governor, and he's saying that social democracy is akin to Stalinism. John, suspend your campaign. I mean, you already made a fool of yourself when you explained how you watched porn with your mom, but this is next level stupid. Uh... Uh, 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 a, uh, uh. Now, he's kind of trying to give himself plausible deniability since he didn't name drop Bernie Sanders. And he's saying, look, I'm not talking about Bernie Sanders. I respect Senator Sanders. I respect his followers and their enthusiasm. But we know what you were doing. You were trying to prime people to think about Bernie's policies as Marxism and Stalinism when that is absolutely not the case. And it's a really dumb point to make. Now, state representative from Colorado and Bernie Sanders supporter, Emily Sirota, tweeted out this about his statement. 
It is disheartening to see Colorado's former Democratic governor, John Hickenlooper, liken the push for policies like Medicare for All, tuition-free college, and the Green New Deal to the policies of Joseph Stalin. This is unacceptable and embarrassing for our state. Yeah, if somebody from Oregon said this, like if Kate Brown, governor of Oregon, compared Bernie's policies to Stalin, I would be embarrassed because that's such a stupid thing. It's so far removed from the truth that you can't really respond. Like you can't dignify that with, you know, a thorough nuanced comeback. You just have to stop and laugh at that person because they're clearly misinformed. And really with John, John Hickenlooper, I don't think that he is that dumb. I think he just knows what the truth is because again, he's a former governor and he's just trying to prime people. This is a strategic way of getting people to think about deep throat Bernie Sanders and associate him with Stalinism. And it's, you know, it's a tactic, but it's a dumb one. And he's just making himself look foolish because what you're doing is you're using a GOP line of attack on Bernie Sanders. You're essentially doing the Democratic Party equivalent of Venezuela. And you're not making Bernie look worse, John. You're making yourself look like a huge fucking dumbass because, wow, what a stupid thing to say. Deep throat. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>